Hello everybody, what's going on? Buddy Blackford here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to uh, go over opening up Im images and how to uh, place images in your document or insert them into your document. So <clears throat> the first way and the easiest way to open up an image um, is come up to here and click on file and then we're gonna go to open and uh, that way you can come up to your uh, where you can browse your computer and then I'll come down to my folder where I have some of my stuff images and then I'll just open up an image that seems halfway decent this one seems good and then this will open up a new image with its actual um, Doc, w within its actual document size and everything like that so you can check out the size of this by going to edit on I gotta let's go to click on this and we go to image here and we go to image size and you can see that this is 3648 by 2432 pixels and then the, the actual document size is 15.2 by 10.133 inches and then you can change these to um, <clears throat> what you whatever you feel like using instead of maybe pixels and it's got a resolution of 240 pixels per inch so that's how you can see what's going on there now maybe you already have something open or you have a document here that just has nothing in it so the way that you can add uh, images into the document easily this way is going to file and then we're going to come down here to place and this is good for putting images in that are smaller than the uh, actual size of your uh, actual size of your canvas so let me uh, grab something like this here and then it places it in the image for you. Now you can move it around if you if you need to. And you can resize it over here in the corners or on the sides. Now if you hold shift when you're resizing, it'll constrain the proportions so it doesn't get all distorted. And then you hit enter once you have it in the spot that you want. And that takes off the um, the tools for like resizing it and now your object is placed and you can still move it around and everything like that if you would like my uh, photoshop is lagging right now real so when I click and drag it it's gotta like see if I gotta hold it or something like that yep just hold it and then now I can drag it wherever I want for some reason it has some type of lag but uh, that's fine. <clears throat> now, when you place your image, it'll create a uh, new layer for you. And when you open up your image, your layer, your actual image, will be the background if you open it. So those are the different things going on there. Now you can switch between the two things by clicking on these tabs up here. And that'll switch between the two um, documents that you have open. Now another way for you to um, bring an image into Photoshop is you are able to just drag it from like your folder and um, if I bring my folder over from my other monitor over here I have a bunch of images in here. Now if I take one of these images and just drag it it'll place the image here into um, the area and uh, that way now I can have this image in the uh, document also now it's taken up over everything so I'll just hide that and you can hide and unhide things in your layer panel by clicking on this eye and that toggles the visibility of the layer now other things that you can insert into uh, your document are um, PDFs, um, Adobe Illustrator files, and EPS uh, formats, which is another Adobe Illustrator file. 
in case you're fam familiar with uh, Adobe Illustrator. Now there's one more thing that I want to show you and that is the open as function. Now you can come into a file here and you can click on open as and what it will do is allow you to open up like something like a JPEG and I can open it up as a um, like a PSD if I wanted to or a TIFF I'm trying to find PNG I could try to open it up as a PNG and uh, sometimes this will allow you to do it and sometimes it won't but we'll, we can try now and um, because the file well um, obviously that method didn't work but sometimes maybe someone will name the file incorrectly or save it as the wrong thing and you are able to open up a file as another type of file so that's about it for the opening up different things in uh, Photoshop and placing pictures or images so thanks for watching this tutorial and I look forward to see you guys in the next one